Hello, welcome to Oxford Heirlooms. In this video, we're going to attach the gathered lace um, to the edges of the bonnet. Now, normally for a little boy, um, I would put the lace on flat on the edge of the bonnet, but since we gathered the lace on the little shirt, um, on both the front panel, the fancy front panel, the Peter Pan collars, and on the little sleeves, um, I'm going to go ahead and gather the lace um, so that it's coordinated with Older Brother's outfit. And fortunately, I have enough of this lace left over to do that. I mean, if I hadn't, I would do it flat. Okay, so I'm going to begin this process by trimming my excess batiste off the entredeau that I sewed to all the edges of the bonnet. Now I will trim, let's say, I trim that piece. Now I need to turn the corner here. So I'm gonna make sure that I have an entire entredeau hole in the corner. You see how I did that? Okay, so let me trim, finish trimming the top sides of the bonnet and the back also. So this will take me a minute to get this done. And once again, at each of the corners, um, I'm gonna make sure I have one full entredeau hole um, and not cut it in half. So I'll be right back. Okay, now um, I've got the excess batiste trimmed from around both bonnet um, pieces. Now I'm going to fold the bonnet in half and with my blue fabric marking pen, I'm going to mark at the halfway point at both the front and the back. Then from the sides, I'm going to fold it in half. Well, I'm not going to fold it in half. I think I'm just going to eyeball it. And I'm going to make a mark halfway through the beading on both ends. And what this does, this splits the bonnet edge into four equal pieces. Now, on the back piece, I'm just going to mark it um, at the center bottom. Now, this breaks the bonnet up into two equal pieces. And I'll explain why that's important in just a minute. Now starting, now what I want to do is I want to attach my gathered lace going completely around without sewing and mitering the corners. I want the gathered lace to simply turn the corner um, and bunch up a little at the corner and so that'll work well. Now I'm going to start with the back piece because it's a little bit um, easier to do. I need to cut a length of lace that is one and a half times the length around the edge of the bonnet. Okay, so just kind of measure that around. And that's one length. Now one and a half is the same as three halves. So I'm gonna fold my one length in half and that gives me two halves. And if I fold it back on itself one more time, I have three halves and that will be one and a half times the length going around the edge of the back of the bonnet. Okay, set the rest of my Moline lace off to the side for just a minute. Now this lace has a little bit of length to it, so I'm going to fold it in half along the length and I'm going to, with my blue fabric marking pen, once again, I'm going to mark it in the center of the lace. Okay, now this is Moline lace, so it's one-sided, and my back um, is one-sided also. So let me check. Let's see this. Can you see the fuzzies on that one side? Um, it's not fuzzy on this side. So what I'm gonna do, I've got my sewing machine set to a zigzag, the appropriate stitch length and stitch width for sewing entredeau. I'm gonna come over here and line up my center, my two center dots. Let me bring the camera over here where you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna line up my two center dots at the very center bottom of the bonnet piece 
and I'm going to zigzag without moving anywhere. I'm simply going to zigzag the bonnet to the lace. Just do a few little stitches to tack it into place. Okay. All right, now then, the lace is attached to the bonnet, but it is not yet gathered. So let me, I'm just going to, I'm not going to cut the lengths too short because I don't want it to accidentally come off. Okay, now from one side, I'm going to use a silk pen, and I'm going to begin to gather the lace. I'm going to begin to gather the lace until it fits around one edge of the bonnet. Let me see if I can grab a header thread real quickly. Okay, I've got one pulled out. Okay, so I'm gonna begin to gather my lace until it's the length going around the edge of this side of the back of this bonnet. Okay, this will take me a minute to gather it, get the, the gathers organized, uh, because since it needs to turn this corner right here, I need to have quite a bit or, you know, a substantial amount of lace bunched up so that it'll fan around the corner. So this will take me a minute to get my lace um, adjusted, so I'll be right back. Okay, I've got this gathered where it fits around the side of the bonnet. And I've got a little substantial bunch right there where it's gonna turn the corner. So I'm gonna sew this lace on um, one half of the bonnet at a time. So coming back here to the middle center where I zigzagged before, without moving my gathers around. You gotta be careful because sometimes when the lace is gathered, if you pull on it, um, it will ungather. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit so you can watch what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to zigzag this lace to the edge. And when I get to the corner, I will drop my needle and I will pivot with the lace and turn the corner. Make sure my lace doesn't pucker up on top of itself. There we go. Okay, so now I'm in the last entredeau hole, so I'm going to turn the corner and gently pull the lace around the corner, butt it up to the entredeau ladder again. and continue to sew this lace on. Hold on a minute, for some reason, the lace is not butting up to the entredeau right now, so let me adjust this just a little bit and hold it into place. There we go. Now I'm coming down the side. Slowly, but I'm coming down the side.
Okay, this will take me a minute to get to the end here, and I'm going kind of slowly, so I think I'll do the rest of this off camera. Okay, as you can see, I've got my lace um, sewn on. It fans out and turns the corner really sweet. Um, I still got some threads to trim, but I'll do that in a little bit. Now, what I'm going to do is I still have the other side of the lace that is not gathered and sewn on yet. So I'm going to turn this over so that I'm working on the side um, coming around um, in the direction that I like to work. And I'm going to repeat this process. I'm going to, with my silk pen, I'm going to grab a header thread and I'm going to gather the lace until it fits around the corner of the bonnet. And once again, I will kind of bunch up a little bit of lace at the corner so it will fan out um, and turn the corner and come down the side of the bonnet. But since I have just done this, I will do this other side off camera. Okay, so using that little method of starting in the center and working my way around um, one half at a time, I've got my gathered lace sewn to the edge of the back of the bonnet. Now with the top sides, I'll put this back off to the side for just a minute. Now with the top um, sides. Um, I've already cut a piece of lace that's one and a half times the length, but rather than just marking my lace in half, I marked this bonnet piece in four locations. So I need to mark my lace um, in four different pieces. So I'm going to fold it in half and put a mark at the halfway point. Okay, there's the halfway point. Then I'm going to fold it in half again. And put a little mark at the two halfway mark, or the two quarter length marks. Okay. And once again, this is Maline lace, so let me go to the middle of the bonnet. Let's see. Um, I think I want the bonnet to go over with the bouquets going from left to right. So this, where it says top, um, will be over the left ear of the baby. So this will be the front of the bonnet. This will be the back of the bonnet. So let me find my middle of my lace. I've got my top side up right now, so I need to have my Moline lace top side up. Let me check it real quickly. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to start this process again and I'm going to tack the lace to the center of the bonnet. Let me see if I can move my camera and get this over here on the sewing machine a little bit better. In using a couple of zigzag stitches I'm going to tack my lace in place at the very center front. I'm losing my foot pedal again. Okay. All right. Just without going anywhere, I'm just going to tack a few stitches in there just to tack it into place. And then clip my threads a little bit so they're not too badly in my way. Okay, now what I'm going to do this time, let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. What I want to do first is I've got this mark on the lace that's a quarter of the distance around. So I'm going to begin to gather my lace to where this extra lace fits around the corner. And once again, when I get to this corner right here, um, I'm going to bunch my lace up a little bit so that it will fan out and turn the corner smoothly. Okay, so just using the gathering process, this will take me a while, um, and there's no sense in you watching me gather lace. Uh, once I get it gathered in this one quarter, I'm not going to try to gather it all the way around right now. Um, once I get it gathered into the one quarter, I will come back and sew the lace to the bonnet. Okay, 
I've got this one quarter of the lace gathered. So I'm gonna start sewing at the center front and I'm gonna zigzag along this front edge when I get to the corner where I have it bunched up a little bit so it'll go, it'll flare out going around the corner. I'm gonna keep going and when I get to my blue dot on the center, I will stop and then I'll gather the rest of the lace later. So let me begin to sew this lace to the front edge of the bonnet. Start at that center mark again and catch the entre deux hole on the left and the header of the gathered lace on the right. See if I can zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And when I get to this corner, I'm going to go in the last entredo hole and pivot. Okay. And I've got the lace kind of bunched up so it'll turn the corner. Let me get that butted up here. And start down the side. And I'm simply going to sew until I get to my little middle center mark of the side of the bonnet, and then I'll stop and basically repeat the process that I just did of gathering the lace. There we go. Okay. Let me tack that into place real quick. Okay, all right. Now I can trim my threads. Okay, so we still have half of the lace is hanging out over here to the side. One quarter of the lace is sewed on, and I've got this other quarter of the lace that needs to come around to the back side. Now, when I gather this, I'm gonna bunch it up at this bottom corner again, but I'm going to leave the lace. Um, I'm going to overhang my back center mark by about a half an inch. Uh, but since this is a similar process to what I have just done, let me finish um, this other quarter of the lace and then we'll work on the other side of the lace. Okay, now we have one half of the lace edging gathered and sewed along the half of the front, one of the sides, and half of the back. And once again, where my little center blue dot was, I've got lace extending about one half of an inch um, in the center back. Now what I'm gonna do is I've got all this other lace, I've got it marked for the quarter mark, um, and then I've got two quarters of lace. I'm gonna turn this over, so, cause I like to work going in this direction. But um, going through the same process that I just did, I'm going to gather the lace until it fits at the quarter mark. 
um, bunch it up a little bit right there at the corner so it'll turn the corner nicely and also one quarter of the lace and then also the other quarter of the lace and once again when I get to the back um, I will overlap the blue dot by about a half an inch so the edging laces will actually overlap themselves by about one inch which is okay all right but I'll do the rest of this off camera because it takes a while to get this done. And you've just seen me um, gather lace and turn corners on video. So I'll be right back. Okay, we've got all the gathered lace sewn onto the edge of the bonnet and we turn the corners nicely without having to do any mitering. So that's really sweet. Um, so in the next video, what we will do is we will attach the back of the bonnet um, to the top sides of the bonnet um, and sew the silk ribbons onto the bonnet so that we can um, tie it up um, and see what it looks like on the head model. But in this video, we were gathering the lace, sewing it on either one half of a length at a time, like what we did on the back, or sewing it on one quarter of a length at a time, like we did on the top sides. But thank you.